today for the Bitcoin price and you probably already hear it in my voice. This is a different video than usually and Bitcoin is doing something right now. It didn't do since 2018. In fact, the last time Bitcoin did what it did 20 minutes ago or so, we dumped 50% down and watch this video until the very end. I will show you evidence and proof. And I wanna tell you whether I personally think that this horror scenario is going to happen once again. Stick here with me until the very, very end, guys. Because as you remember, when I was talking about the Wyckoff pattern at 50, 58,000 US dollars, predicting the price to go down to 30,000, people were laughing at me, people were downvoting, they were pointing with a finger towards me. I am coming out with unpopular opinions in the moment it is necessary. If you appreciate that, smash up the like button to a new all-time high. Watch this video until the very end, guys, to see the evidence and proof and leave your comments down below. Let's open the discussion in these crucial moments. I want to know what the community feels and I will join this discussion in the comment section. Now let's talk about the price and you all it's a different video. This is the weekly candles and what you can see here is uh, a descending triangle and a descending triangle on the it's actually on the daily more beautiful. This is something we haven't seen for quite some time at least on a big time frame like this. The last time in fact was right here. We are writing here, when I'm going back, 2018. The price was bouncing between support and resistance. And then after 90% of maturity, breaking towards the downside. In fact, guys, let me quickly go back. Um, the price, when we hit this level here, when we broke the support, went down. Oh, jeez. I, I, the, the fingers are too fat, I think. So sorry. So let me do it again. Um, the price, when we broke down, right here, when we broke the support, it went down, let me quickly see, 50% approximately. But anyway, I want to show it to you. Right here, 45%. 45% from the support to the bear market low. So the question is, is this right now happening again? Well, let me go over to the daily candles because on the daily candles, we can even more see how beautiful this pattern is. We have basically one fake out only, right? This is, this is happening every now and then. And the Bitcoin price um, bouncing between support and resistance here. Now, we are about to break this. The question is, is this a legitimate breakdown? And can we expect Bitcoin to hit the price target here? Well, I would wait a little bit. I would wait number one for the daily close. And actually we are talking about macro timeframes. You can even wait for the weekly close. But what we need with a certainty is more volume here. If the volume picks up, if the volume beats the previous volume candles, only then I would say this is a legitimate breakdown. And another thing which is putting more gunpowder here, more fuel into the fire. If I am going over to the weekly candles and guys, honestly, I think this is a moment, let me quickly go back. By the way, I, I just uh, changed location here. I'm still in Ibiza. Uh, this is a moment where we should take a step back and we should try to stay objective. I know that there are many people saying, Chris, like you are, you are going bearish. You were always bullish. Of course, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin, right? I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. I still think we are going to hit the six digits rather sooner than later. But at least I have to talk about these unpopular things in the moment it is necessary, guys. So really, I hope that you, you can stay objective, even, it is, even though it is emotional times. I am losing money myself here in my hodling portfolio. In fact, I also lost my trade, guys. Pure transparency, as you already know. So now you can see here on the EMA ribbon, Bitcoin is breaking the 50-week EMA. So this means that technically on the weekly candles, we are in a downtrend. However, if I am going back and of course, past history is not 100% indicative for future performance. But if we are looking back, the last time we were rejected here at the orange line, just as we are rejected at the orange line, geez, once again, right here, as you can see, we went down for a retest of the EMA ribbon. And actually, the last time we closed below, of course, this was a bear market, but Bitcoin very quickly got a bounce back to liquidate the shorts and then eventually break it um, definitely here towards the downside. So right now, we are kind of on crossroads right now. I think that Bitcoin is severely oversold on every single time frame. I personally think, let me quickly go back, I personally think that a big bounce is imminent. But even though Bitcoin bounces today, tomorrow or whatever and jumps up a few thousand dollars like within that week, it do does not yet mean 
that we are going bullish. Bitcoin has to break 42,000 US dollars. And if we are breaking 42,000 US dollars, I'm pounding the table and I'm jumping back into positions. I am stepping back right now and I am getting even more cautious than I was before. As I already told you, I lost my trade here. So uh, this is the EMA ribbons. And now, of course, everyone is asking in this worst case scenario, in this horrific scenario, horrible scenario of the breakdown, if we are continuing the breakdown here, what is the price target for Bitcoin? And actually, my prediction was that 28,800 was the bottom for Bitcoin. Do I still think so? Yes, <laughs> until we break this level. So far, my bottom prediction is still correct. However, if we break below 28.8, <laughs> I'm getting even more cautious. So far, I don't think we are going to hit this price target, 20,400. However, Bitcoin has to hold, this is the measured move price target. However, Bitcoin has to hold the horizontal support. Bitcoin has to jump back above the EMA ribbon on the weekly candles. If we are able to do that, if we are able to flip this weekly candle green, there is still hope left for the Bitcoin bulls. Now breaking the horizontal support, of course, some alarm signals are actually uh, ringing for me and I am getting very cautious as, well, breaking a support here at a daily pattern is, of course, something we have to notify as uh, dangerous for everyone in a long position here right now. So far, we are not strictly below. So far, we can bounce back. But in the end of the day, this pattern only ends on the 30th of July by the end of this month. This is actually very crucial times, guys. This is interesting times. And I wanted to give you some kind of warning. Of course, trading is nice. I'm trading myself. And um, I mean, we made a killing in the last one and a half, two years. We made a brutal killing with trading. But there are some moments where you want to st take a step back because fake outs, liquidation candles, all of these things are very dangerous. Of course, what you can do in the pinned comment down below, you can already claim the bonus here. I have 2,510 US dollars in free bonuses. Click the Femax link, make your initial deposit to get $1,200. What I would personally do is take the bonus, leave it on the sidelines, wait for the next opportunity and only trade. When there is... Um, some confirmed breakout, some confirmed breakdown. Right now, take a step back, claim the bonus, of course, if you want, if you're an experienced trader, but be very cautious, guys. Smash up the like button, and of course, just as a quick ending note, I have huge news for everyone who is holding Bitcoin. I am investing money in sponsorships, in this and that, and yes, I am sponsoring, because I wanna bring the Bitcoin logo to the mainstream, and here you can see MM Crypto and the Bitcoin logo on a Formula 2 car, and I am sponsoring, actually, with Carl from the Moon together, big shout out to him, my man, uh, um, he has also a big fat uh, the moon logo on the on the car here the formula 2 so um, everyone watching the formula 2 and even in the playstation games hopefully they are going to do it you are hopefully going to see here the bitcoin sign and of course if you appreciate that smash up the like button i mean when oh let me quickly go back when the last time have you seen youtubers bringing crypto to the mainstream bringing crypto to formula 2 bringing crypto to uh, to football i think it's a funny idea let's wait and see how reality unfolds. I personally don't think that the future is um, dark for Bitcoin, but in the immediate short term, please be very cautious. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for smashing up the like button. We are going to see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.